During Antinental booking, you are supposed to calculate the expected date of delivery and gestation age. But on this video, only focus on how to calculate the expected date of delivery. Then we're gonna do the gestation age later. Probably the next video will be on how to calculate the gestation age. To calculate the expected date of delivery, seven days are added to the date of the first day of the last normal menstrual period and then nine months are added to the months. You should note that whenever you subtract the date, automatically the month increases by one and whenever you subtract the month, automatically the year changes or increases by one year. To know what I mean, let's solve some examples below. Calculate the expected date of delivery given that the last menstrual period is A. 12, 11, 18 B. 12, 12, 19 C. 30, 12, 19 D. 28, 11, 19 now, let's start by calculating the first one. The last menstrual period is 12, which is the date, 11, which is the month, and 18, which is the year. So we are going to add 7 to that date, which will give us 19, and add 9 to that 11, which will give us 20. So we have 19, 20, 18. Always first start by calculating the month before you rush to the date. Now our calendar doesn't go up to 20 months, instead it goes only up to 12 months. So we are going to subtract that 20 by 12 months which will give us 08. Now since we have subtracted the month, the year will automatically change or increase by 1. So the equation will be 1908. 19 and that's the answer the next example is the last menstrual period is 12 12 19 we are going to follow the same steps even here we we'll add 7 to that 12 which will give us 19 we are also going to add 9 to that 12 which will give us 21 on this step we are going to start first by calculating the months remember so 21 minus 12 is 09 Finally, the answer will be 190920. Don't forget where the 20 is coming from because we had to subtract the month that 21 minus 12, uh, which I said the year automatically changes or increases by 1. Let's move to the next one. Last menstrual period is 30, 12, 19. Pay much attention on this one. Still, we are going to follow the same steps. We will add 7 to 30, which will give us 37, and add 9 to 12, which will give us 21. Our equation will now be 37, 21, 20. The year has changed from 2019 to 2020 because we are going to subtract. Reason being, our calendar only goes up to 12 months and not 20 months. We will now start first by calculating the months. So, we subtract 21 minus 12, it will give us 09. Our equation will now be 370920. Now, this equation 370920 doesn't exist because 09, which is September, doesn't go up to 37 days. Instead, it only goes up to 30 days. So, we are going to subtract again 37 minus 30. It will give us 07. Now, the equation will be 070920. Remember, in my introduction, I said whenever you subtract the date, the math changes or increases by 1. So, our final answer will be 07. 7, 10, 20. Well, let's do it again with this last example. Watch me solve this example. Well, we are done. Don't forget to check for my next video on how to calculate the gestation age. I have some questions below for you just to be sure you got the concept. After solving, give me the answer via the comment box. Thank you.